Indeed. Thank you. What most people don't realise is that the vast majority of work done on climate emergency and working is done by volunteers. Yes, there are many roles within our council that now include climate initiatives as key deliverables, but there are very few dedicated climate officers in our council. The voluntary delivery of our substantial success so far makes what I'm about to say even more disappointing. Recently, an organisation called Climate Emergency UK undertook an independent six month review, of the climate action plans of every council in the UK. When they announced their findings, Wokingham was ranked in the top 10 out of 400 nationally. That was a phenomenal achievement and a fitting acknowledgement of all of the hard work done by the officers across this council on a voluntary basis. The jubilation rightly felt among the officer group quickly turned to heartache, resentment and despondency, though when an anonymous person decided that it wasn't acceptable to them that Wokingham had performed so well. The mysterious individual, who I have reason to believe is in this chamber tonight, contacted Climate Emergency UK and provided them with so-called evidence that has not been shared anywhere else that resulted in Wokingham being downgraded to 22nd overall. Now, 22nd out of 400 is still a phenomenal result, and had you asked Rianne Hayes, Diana Tova, Graham Evers and I in January, where we expected to rank, we would have been delighted to come out 22nd. But our officers deserved better. They achieved eighth. For many I spoke to subsequently, being downgraded by an anonymous Judas was a stab in the back. It belittled their effort. It made them question why they had bothered in the first place. The anonymous person who did it knows who they are. They should be ashamed of themselves. It's the one thing trying to belittle a conservative policy. But what you've actually achieved is to trivialise the hard work, time, energy and countless dedicated officers across this council that you now seek to lead. And you've put their achievement, which they rightly deserve, downwards. You put politics before people's work, time, effort and pride. Personally, I don't understand how you can show your conceited face to the officers. They deserve so much better. Their hard work, dedicated service deserves better. The people of Wokium deserve better. They all deserve an apology, but I'm sure they won't get it. You're a disgrace. You want to be a leader, but you've stabbed your officer team in the back. I object to this report because it has been presented by a group who in this council in July of last year voted against the report that is essentially the same as this one. Excuse me, sorry. Um... I'd like you to stop there, please. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Bray. Thank you. That was very... Sorry, before you start, can I also confirm you're speaking against the report? I don't... I, we've had one speech against, and therefore I don't need to speak against. I believe that's correct. That's yep. correct. Thank you. So I am... Well, I am speaking against something. I'm speaking against Councillor Murray, I think. Um, I am quite gobsmacked by the idea that if you achieved an eighth ranking by not being honest about what was in your plan or open about everything that was in it, and you actually deserve to be 22nd, it's somehow a betrayal of the council. Um, that is an extraordinary position to adopt. Oh, no I officer just... lied in their submission Excuse to Climate me. Emergency Excuse UK. Excuse me. I'm sorry, what? Um, I, I'm not accusing any officer of having lied. Sorry, can I stop the debate now and I can yep. take some advisement? Thank you. Everybody sit down. Thank you. I will continue this debate and please, Councillor Murray, please do not interrupt. We respect you when you're speaking and try not to interrupt you. Thank you, Councillor Bray. Will you continue? I, I wish to continue by saying that at last year we did, we were not happy with the content of the plan because we did not believe it covered everything it, need to cover, it needed to cover. And I seem to remember Councillor Murray recently suggesting that we hadn't gone far enough on some things. So um, we are moving on. We are moving on because we have no choice. 
we are faced with a climate emergency and we need to act. And that is what we are trying to do as a council generally and as a borough. It's no good the council doing what it can if the people in the borough don't get involved. And I think that we need to take the plan to the next level. And I believe that is the direction we are now going in. So I support this plan knowing and I think everybody on this side of the chamber knows that it's still not a finished work. It's a work in progress. But if we don't make some progress soon, we are going to be in real trouble as a planet. Uh, and I just can't believe that you would play games of the nature that you're playing. And I'm very sorry that you've changed the tone and spoken as you have.